what's up guys Mark here from VIP shop management this is the this video is a tutorial video on how to sign up for Nextpart buyer hub or if you're not familiar with Nextpart how do you even start using Nextpart uh, Nextpart is a big deal Nextpart don't sell parts Nextpart is just a connector to all your favorite vendors including Arizona O'Reilly advanced uh, and, and thousands more so if you are not familiar with Nextpart or or you want to sign up for Nextpart buyer hub, you need to go to nextpart.com. Make sure there's no T in next. So it's N-E-X-P-A-R-T.com. Once you come over here, just click on sign up for Nextpart buyer hub. And you need to type in uh, your email. And just check this click continue um, in this case if if it says hey uh, you have uh, it did recognize your email and you need the, the username and password and you don't have a username and password because you never signed up for uh, next part buyer hub make sure you try to sign in uh, with uh, any username and password that you have with next part it should let you create after that create a username and reset your password so try to reset try to like try to sign in first with uh, let's say you, you go to your parts catalog and go to the next part buyer hub so if you have one of those if you have any account with next part uh, try to do that right here and try to log in with the username and password see what happens see if it'll let you continue if it doesn't click on forget username and password and try to use that email to re to basically reset the password and have the ability to create an account i'm just going to go back and try to use a new email i just want to because i want to show something that's really important um so i'm just let me try to use i don't want to sign up all the way but i just want to show something real quick so once you type in your email uh, you're going to come to this page this page is really really important this is the page it's going to sh in this page uh, uh, make sure you enter your zip code just to be in the safe side but it will show all the vendors in your area that uses um, uh, Nextpart. So in my case, Advanced, you have Napa, AutoZone, uh, Federated Auto Parts, O'Reilly, um, which is first call in 1-800 Radiator, LKQ, um, Village Ford, which is Ford uh, dealership, Keystone, and uh, Parts Source, Parts Plus, I believe they're the same. And so in Factory Motor Parts, which is another big deal, all are part of next part if you don't have any account with them so what you do in this case just click on advance and click on request an account click on napa request an account so request all these accounts because at this moment all what you're doing is you creating an account with next part which is something that they didn't have before but now they do or they did and it was hard to do so once you sign once you figure out which uh which vendors that you want to use just click on continue i'm not going to create this account you got to fill up your information right here and then after that it will make you um, create a username and password so it's, you're going to have one username and password once you have the one and you got to confirm your email keep that in mind so two steps right here you got to create a username and password and after that you're going to confirm your email and it basically you just got to go log in your email and, and, and then give you a code or something verification to your email once you get the username and password, you need to go back to VIP Shop Management, click on Parts Catalog all the way up top. You see what I'm talking about? Parts Catalog, and then go all the way down where it says Next Part Vendors Setup. Once you come here, you have two options right here. Um, if you if you just signed up with Next Part Buyer Hub, just click on Next Part Buyer Hub right here, and type in the username and password uh for that you that you created in this case you can see at gmail it doesn't have to be at gmail so you can create that you can type in the username and password right here and once you do that make sure you click test connection to so make sure if it's successfully connected that mean you all set so once that done the other part is so we, there's two way of connecting the next part there's a through buyer hub or just a regular uh, the formal, uh, the, the formal way. The formal way is connecting uh, to next part. Uh, basically, I can connect to AutoZone individually. I can, can connect to Advance individually, and all these. Or 
I can go to next part buyer hub, which is called multi-seller, where I connect, I connect to, uh, to multiple sellers at once. So once you do that, uh, just select any estimate right here. I select this estimate and click on the plus sign right here. Click on next part and click on, you can, like I said, this is the individual, but we're only talking about next part buyer hub right now. Just click on next part buyer hub. At this, on this screen, which is you're not gonna happen, it's gonna give you an error message saying you gotta need, you need to um, turn on multi-seller. If this happened, all you have to do is just click on the dashboard up top here. So you have a dashboard and uh, you can have a place where it says, sorry, I mean, I've never been here, skip tour. You can have a place where it says turn on, it's in a banner, turn on multi-seller. Make sure you turn on the multi-seller and in this place, because this is just a test account, in this place you're gonna see, uh, you can add add a seller right here, if it's a new seller, excuse me, or find a seller right here, you can find a seller again, and add request the seller from here, so you, if you forget a seller, I can come back here and say, I wanna request an account uh, from 1-800-RADIATOR, so keep that in mind. And uh, so yeah, so the dashboard is really important. This is when you control everything. This is when you're gonna see all the sellers that you have. You can make sure the multi-seller is enabled right here. Uh, just if it's off, just turn it on. And there's another one beside just, this is like a multi-seller for each individual uh, seller that you have, like AutoZone, O'Reilly, or whatever the case is. But there's another big button, it's supposed, I don't know if it's still there, but it's supposed to be there um, where you have to enable multi-sellers to be able to come here. Um, the last thing I wanna show you that, I'm gonna show you the difference between uh, the how, how to use it basically. Let's do that, so if I click on next part, again, this is just a test account, just click on the vendor test, which is, uh, in this case, should be AutoZone or O'Reilly. Um, let's say I wanna start, do a star, I'm looking for a starter motor, and then uh, once I found it, I just click add to cart, and there's a transfer right here. I can still shop for multiple stuff, but once I'm ready, I just click on the transfer right here, and it's all set. Uh, so you're gonna see like there's this cart, uh, this this uh, item it has the part number, it has the vendor where where we got it from, and all that, um, and it has gonna have like a, uh, an icon next to it saying that it's not ordered yet. If I'm ready, once I'm ready to order it, I just click on the place an order. And you're gonna see if, if any of these has something in it, it's gonna be lit up. So I'm gonna click on the on the on the vendor that has the uh, the parts in it. And it, all I have to do, the purchase order will be automatically inserted. And all I have to do is click on place an order. And that's it. The order has been placed. And just click on return uh, to uh, VIP shop manager. You're gonna you're gonna see a check mark, which is really cool. If I click on the purchase order numbers right here, I click on add view. I'm gonna see there's a there's the purchase order number that I got from them uh, for this vehicle and uh, it was created at this date at this time and that was the total for it. Uh, same thing that will work for buyer hub. I'm gonna do this one more example and that's it. I'm gonna click on buyer hub. Uh, buyer hub, like I said, again it's a multi-seller, so if AutoZone O'Reilly in advance, I'll order at once so you can see the prices and pick and choose which one you wanna buy. Uh, let's look for a fuel pump in this case. Uh, fuel pump. Let's see, module assembly. So that's a fuel pump right there. I'm going to add it to the cart. I'm going to transfer the cart. And you can see the fuel pump right here. Once I'm ready to place an order, I click on place an order. And you can see there's a there's the cart inside buyer hub at this time. Uh, so I'm going to click on that. And uh, I'm just going to click uh, purchase order right there and click place an order and then return to VSM. I did uh, show a video right here of how uh, of how you can compare the prices between Advance and O'Reilly and all that. Um, let me see if I can get it real quick uh, because that's not really a, a fair uh, way of showing uh, of showing uh, that's not really a fair way of showing uh, next part by a uh, right now, get fifty dollars off per axle here. on a standard brake service at Firestone Complete Auto Care. 
I made a video right here that says AutoZone destroy O'Reilly. The whole reason I made this video, not because I'm, I'm rooting for AutoZone. I did use AutoZone in my, in my past, but uh, the reason I made this video because of literally the prices of AutoZone in this video was, uh, was uh, basically was like uh, they're cheaper than, <laughs> than Advance and O'Reilly uh, all the time. So if you look in this video right here, uh, uh, Let's, I'm just gonna exit because I don't want. So right there. So if you look, there's that fuel pump right here from AutoZone. Um, if I scroll down, um, uh, it's just uh, here's O'Reilly right here with the Master Pro, and here's Advanced. So that's that's what multi-seller mean. And it doesn't have to be Advanced and O'Reilly. It, it can be your favorite vendors uh, comparing the price at once. So keep that in mind. I'm glad I made this video. Uh, so I can show uh, that was I was using a real account. It was Rick's Auto Center uh, in Illinois. So I really appreciate you again, Rick. So anyway, that's it for today. Appreciate you guys. Until next time. Uh, thanks for watching.